This is an explanation of what is on the motor nameplate. Motors come with various sizes and shapes of nameplates, but they basically say the same things. These basics are, besides the horsepower load that the motor can be used to drive, they have the speed or RPM. In this case, this motor runs at 3450 RPM. The standard AC motor RPMs are 3600 RPM, 1800 RPM, 1200 RPM, and sometimes 900 RPM. There are other variations of speed, but those are the basics. The voltages that the motor can be run on. In this case, this motor can be connected for 208 to 230 volts, or it can be connected for 460 volts. The NEMA frame size, which is a designation of many physical characteristics of the motor. You can pick up a NEMA frame size chart and it will tell you, based on this single frame rating, the diameter of the drive shaft, the keyway in the drive shaft, the height of the center line of the drive shaft above the base of the motor, the foot mounting pattern, and so forth. So this is important if you're replacing a motor. You want to make sure you get a frame size that is the same as the motor you're replacing. We have another video describing differences in NEMA frame size. But when you see a T at the end of it, a 254T for example, T is the current frame size rating that motors have been manufactured for at least the last 20 years. If you see a letter after that, for instance, you saw a 254TZ, that designates that that motor has a special shaft. So you can't just replace that 254TZ motor with a 254T. There's something special about that shaft that you're replacing. It tells you the full load amps. So for instance, if this motor were connected for 230 volts, the maximum full load amps that you should be drawing from this motor is 34. If this motor were connected for 460 volts, the maximum full load amps you would be allowed to draw is 17 amps. So if this motor was connected for 460 volts and you were drawing, say, 20 amps, you've got a serious problem. You're reducing the life of the motor very, very greatly. The service factor. The service factor is a very important thing to note. In this case, the service factor is 1.15. What that means is this motor, if it was connected for 460 volt, could temporarily draw 115% of 17 amps. It could handle that over amperage for a brief period of time. This service factor also is an indicator of the quality of the motor, the strength of the motor, the beefiness of the motor. Many motors are 1.0 service factor and are not designed for any temporary overload. So you can imagine a motor that's designed to handle an 115% temporary overload is of better quality than one that is built to a 1.0 service factor. The code letter. In this case, it is a code K. That code letter is used for the motor control capability. When you're replacing a motor, you want to try and replace it with a motor that has a similar code letter. If you change code letters, example, you replace this code letter K motor with a different code letter, new motor, you have a chance of burning up the controller or the controller may not work properly with it. Efficiency. Efficiency is a squirrely little animal. In this case, it's the NEMA nominal efficiency, and it's rated at 90.2%. Nominal is just a bell curve. It's a range that this motor could fall into. Even though it's rated for 90.2 nominal efficiency percentage, it's not necessarily going to be the motor you have, a 90.2 efficient motor. Of course, the higher the efficiency, the better it uses electricity, the cheaper it is to run. What you want to look for, if you can, when you're comparing one motor against another is what is called the guaranteed minimum efficiency. Guaranteed 
minimum efficiency. That efficiency is guaranteed for the motor you have as being the minimum. That is the best number to compare efficiency against each type of motor.